Hello and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. Today we are getting ready to plant tomatoes, one of my favorite things to grow. And so I'm just sitting here trying to decide what I'm going to plant because that is always a big challenge. I have a large variety of seeds. Some of them I've purchased myself. Some of them have been sent to me through the uh, Canadian Seed Exchange Challenge. And so um, this video is about uh, basically how I'm going to plant them up and how I'm going to try to keep myself under control on how many I plant because I want to plant all these varieties but I don't want to end up with 10 of each and have way too many plants and I just hate wasting them and having to uh, kill, in kill any of them or, you know, don't have enough room for them in my garden, so I try to find people to take them. But, uh, so what I've <coughs> promised myself here is I'm going to plant eight kinds of tomatoes. And I'm going to plant them in 16 containers. So that means two of each kind, which doesn't seem like enough but I'm going to plant them up to two in each container. I'm hoping that these containers will uh, be their home right until they get into the ground. These are three inch pots that I've collected and saved from uh, bought and store bought plants and stuff. So it's a bit of a mishmash. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two seeds in each and um, if they both sprout, that's great. I'll just move one into another container. But for now, I'm going to stick with two of each variety. And so I got these ready by uh, just uh, filling them up with some potting soil mixed with perlite. Um, I, uh, I, I fill them about half full and tamp them down and then fill the other half full so that there's not too many air pockets in there. I also wanted to, uh, if you can see in the background here, I have my Aero Garden tomato sitting here. And I'm going to retire the, the indoor tomato plant now for the season. But I do like to use the Aero Garden for starting seeds because it's got a great light that you can raise and lower. So I'm going to be putting some of these tomatoes underneath that uh, Aero Garden grow light as well once. Um, I have this all cleaned out. Okay, so we'll get started on putting uh, these seeds into these containers. The first one I'm going to do is the Tumbler uh, Cherry Tomato. I got this at Early's Farm and Garden here in Saskatoon. And just get two holes going of each. This one is called the Dwarf Wild Fred from Blazing Star. So these are a determinant uh, tomato that gets to about a medium size. Russian Saskatchewan. This is the one that I had grown indoors using my Aero Garden. Um, they didn't grow real big, but I. I'm thinking that they will probably be a little bit bigger growing outdoors. They're a mid-size red tomato determinant. The Fargo yellow pear, also from Blazing Star. These are the um, yellow pear-shaped um, cherry-sized tomatoes. I grew these last year and they were so good. I just loved snacking on them putting them in salads, so I hope these, this is a new uh, strand of yellow pear seeds that I am trying this year. Black cherry from Blazing Star. This also is a cherry sized tomato that comes out into a dark uh, reddish color. I grew some of these last year also. 
they're a little bit bigger than uh, like a cherry or a tiny tim but they were also really good for snacking and these are the scotia tomatoes that i got from hickory croft farm they are a determinate tomato 60 days to maturity These are the Tiny Tims I got from Early's Farm and Garden, Saskatoon. And I have these going in my arrow garden right now. I got a lot of nice uh, tomatoes off of them this winter and this spring. And the last one here is the Siberian tomato from Blazing Star Wild Seed Company, Wildflower Seed Company. These are a determinate. Uh, medium size tomato. So I have here my Arrow Garden tomatoes that I'm going to do a final harvest on for the year. I usually shut this down once uh, the outdoor growing season has started because I uh, don't really need to grow anything indoors right now. Um, so in here I had planted the Tiny Tim and the Tumbler Hybrid. I think we're at about 84 days according to my clock on here and I've taken quite a few off of here already and eaten them. But I thought I would um, harvest what's left on here and uh, weigh in to see how much um, tomatoes were produced here and that will be my first entry into the Shed Wars 21 competition. And if you want to find out more about what the Shed Wars 21 competition is all about, please check down in the description below. So I'm just going to start pulling off the, the ripe ones and any's that look like they're big enough to ripen. These are the Tumbler Hybrid, I believe. It was a bigger plant that kind of spread out a bit more produced quite quite a few tomatoes try to get in closer here so you can see the tiny Tim was quite um, tight as you can see the I maybe should have pruned it a bit more but it's a little hard to get in get these tomatoes they're nice should have a nice little batch here for salad tonight. So once I've uh, harvested all of these, I'm going to clean out the arrow garden here and I'm going to use the light to start my, uh, my seedling tomatoes. And if you haven't seen my video, I did do one on how to uh, clean out your arrow garden and crack key method containers so you can check that out okay so this is going to be my first official weigh-in of um, one of my harvests of tomatoes from the arrow garden and you should be able to see that I have zeroed out the weight here on the scale so let's check in and see how much this first batch of tomatoes weighs So it looks like it is weighing in at 5.5 ounces. So hopefully they're going to see many more pounds of tomatoes coming this summer. So I look forward to having a few of these tonight in my salad and a few more ripen up over the next week that I can enjoy. Okay, so here I have my setup using the Aero Garden to sprout my tomatoes here. So I managed to get four under the lights here. So what I've done is I have filled the reservoir with water simply because the pump will keep running and it will tell me to add water if I don't. So I've just filled it with tap water and I've lowered the lights so that they're only a couple inches away from the surface. And another good thing about using this is it has a timer on it. So the lights will turn on at 6 a.m. and shut off every night around 10 so it'll run for 16 hours on and 8 hours off. So that's how these are going to be set up and I can easily 
bottom water them with these little plastic trays that I put underneath. And the rest of my tomatoes will be going onto this heat mat underneath these grow lights here. I think I have them about you know, two inches away from the from the soil, so these should get enough light to germinate here within the next uh, four to seven days. So as you can see here, my uh, indoor growing space is getting pretty full. I got the peppers, onions, lumens, got flowers started over here, petunias, ornamental grasses. Up there I got my hydroponic strawberry that is uh, sending out shoots all over the place so I'm trying to come up with a plan of how I can capture and uh, start these into some soil so I can move them outdoors. So if you found this video informative and you want to uh, find out what happens next here on the prairies please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love to uh, hear your comments below and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you for watching.